The Bread the Devil Need is a haunting and poignant novel by Trinidadian author Lisa Allen Agostini. The story takes place in contemporary Trinidad and explores the complexities of race, class, gender, and religion through the experiences of its protagonist, Adi. At the heart of the novel is Adi's struggle to find her place in a society that is deeply divided along these lines. She is a mixed-race woman from a working-class background who has been raised by her grandmother, a devout Catholic who instills in her a strong sense of faith and morality. Adi's mother is absent from her life, and her father is a wealthy businessman who has little interest in her. As Adi navigates her way through life, she is constantly confronted with the realities of the society she lives in. She experiences racism and sexism from both white and black people, and she struggles to reconcile her own identity with the expectations placed on her by others. She is also grappling with her own desires and fears, as she tries to come to terms with her sexuality and her attraction to women. The novel is structured around a series of encounters that Adi has with different people, each of whom represents a different facet of Trinidadian society. Through these encounters, Alan Agostini paints a vivid and nuanced portrait of a country that is struggling to come to terms with its own identity in the aftermath of colonialism and slavery. One of the most striking aspects of the novel is its portrayal of religion. Adi's Catholic faith is a central part of her life, but it is also something that she grapples with. She is acutely aware of the ways in which the church has been complicit in the oppression of marginalized people, and she struggles to reconcile this with her own beliefs. Her encounters with a Rastafarian poet and a Hindu woman who is ostracized by her own community highlight the ways in which religion can be both a source of comfort and a tool of oppression. Another theme that runs throughout the novel is the idea of respectability. Adi is constantly reminded of the importance of appearing respectable in order to be accepted by society. This means conforming to certain gender and class norms and suppressing aspects of her identity that are deemed unacceptable. However, as she becomes more aware of the injustices that exist in society, she begins to question the value of respectability and the cost of conformity. The title of the novel, The Bread the Devil Need, comes from a Trinidadian proverb that refers to the idea that bad things happen to good people. This idea is a recurring motif throughout the novel as Adi and the people she encounters struggle to make sense of the injustices they experience. However, the novel also offers moments of hope and redemption, as Adi finds moments of connection and community with people who share her struggles. Overall, The Bread the Devil Need is a powerful and moving novel that offers a nuanced and complex portrait of Trinidadian society. Alan Agostini's writing is lyrical and evocative, and she captures the rhythms and nuances of Trinidadian speech and culture with remarkable accuracy. The novel is a testament to the resilience and strength of the human spirit, even in the face of immense challenges and adversity.